My name is Daniel Morgan, and today I will be talking about the price of shame. Monica is one of the very few people in the world who has no interest in being 22 again. At the age of 22, she made a mistake that she will regret the rest of her life. She asked people to raise their hand to the question, who didn't make a mistake at 22, which nobody raised their hand. The reason this was such a big story was due to this new thing called the internet. In the middle of her talk, she brought up this tragic story about this young man named Tyler Clementi, and he was being cyberbullied for being romantic with another, with another man, and later he jumped from the Washington Bridge. Monica was a victim of this blood sport called public shaming. This was, this was a time when she was in a very dark place. She heard a story about a kid that committed suicide due to the same thing she was going through, and that's why she decided she needed to say something. There are a lot of people who have the same outcome as the kid in the story, which is suicide. She got on the stage to tell people that every click, you make a choice and that public shaming is a blood sport and it has to stop. She goes on to say that anyone who is suffering from shame and public humiliation need to know one thing, you can survive it. I know it's hard, it may not be painless, quick or easy, but you can insist on a different ending to your story. A marketplace has emerged where public humiliation is a commodity and shame is an industry, she says. How is the money made? Clicks. The more shame, the more clicks. The more clicks, the more advertising dollars. We are in a dangerous cycle. The more we click, the more, the more we click on this kind of gossip, the more numb we get to human lives behind it. And the more numb we get, the more we click. This is a very social topic News sources will put people on blast just to make money, which is sad and it needs to be, and something needs to be said and it needs to be brought to the light. In this short clip, Monica says, shame cannot survive empathy. What does she mean by this? Quote, shame can't survive empathy. Shame cannot survive empathy. And quote. What she means by this is if you just talk to a friend about what your shame is, the shame cannot survive being spoken. Thank you.